Saudi Arabia has officially ended its 50-year petrodollar agreement with the United States, shifting to a multi-currency system for oil sales. In a move that could reshape global economics, Saudi Arabia has announced it will no longer adhere to the petrodollar system. This decision marks the end of a 50-year agreement with the United States, a cornerstone of modern financial order. What does this mean for the future of the petrodollar system and the strength of the U.S. dollar? In this video, we'll explore the origins of the petrodollar system, why Saudi Arabia's decision is so significant, and what potential impacts we could see on global trade, the dollar, and the forex market. To understand the significance of Saudi Arabia's recent decision, we need to go back to the early 1970s. On August 15, 1971, President Richard Nixon took the United States off the gold standard, which caused significant upheaval in global financial markets. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets, except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the United States. In response, the U.S. sought to stabilize its currency by striking a deal with Saudi Arabia in 1974. This agreement required Saudi Arabia to price its oil exclusively in U.S. dollars in exchange for military protection and economic assistance from the United States. This arrangement ensured a constant global demand for U.S. dollars because every country importing oil from Saudi Arabia had to first acquire dollars. Consequently, this deal significantly strengthened the dollar's position as the world's primary reserve currency. This system also allowed the U.S. to run large trade deficits, as countries around the world needed to hold substantial dollar reserves to buy oil, creating a steady demand for U.S. Treasury bonds and stabilizing the dollar. The petrodollar system provided immense benefits to both parties. For the U.S., it meant that sustained global demand for its currency and economic stability. For Saudi Arabia, it translated into a stable income stream and guaranteed U.S. military support, reinforcing its security in a volatile region. This agreement became a cornerstone of global trade and financial stability for the next five decades. Fast forward to 2024, Saudi Arabia has chosen not to renew the petrodollar agreement, which expired on June 9th. This strategic decision is part of a broader effort to diversify the kingdom's economy and reduce its dependency on the U.S. dollar. Saudi Arabia is now willing to accept other major currencies, including the Chinese yuan, the euro, and potentially digital currencies for its oil exports. This shift is driven by multiple factors. Firstly, the global energy landscape is changing rapidly. The rise of renewable energy sources and increasing oil production from countries like the U.S., Brazil, and Canada have reduced the world's dependency on Middle Eastern oil. Secondly, Saudi Arabia is seeking to strengthen its economic ties with other major economies like China and the European Union, which are also its key trading partners. Moreover, the decision aligns with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative, aimed at diversifying its economy and reducing its dependence on oil revenues. By accepting multiple currencies for oil sales, Saudi Arabia can mitigate currency risk and potentially gain more favorable trade terms. This move is seen as a step towards a more multipolar world economy, where the dominance of the U.S. dollar is challenged. The implications of Saudi Arabia's decision are far-reaching and complex. One immediate impact could be a reduction in the global demand for U.S. dollars. Historically, countries needed to hold large reserves of dollars to purchase oil, but now they might diversify their reserves into other currencies. This reduced demand could weaken the dollar's value, making imports more expensive for American consumers and potentially leading to higher inflation. Higher inflation could prompt the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates to curb price increases, affecting borrowing costs and economic growth. Additionally, if Saudi Arabia and other oil-producing nations start selling their oil in different currencies, the global market for U.S. Treasury bonds might shrink, leading to higher yields and borrowing costs for the U.S. government. 
this could have significant implications for U.S. fiscal policy and debt management. On a broader scale, the shift could accelerate the trend towards a more multipolar global economy. Other major oil producers might follow Saudi Arabia's lead, further eroding the dollar's dominance. This transition could create more volatility in global markets as currencies adjust to new trading patterns. It also raises questions about the future of global financial stability, given the dollar's central role in the current economic system. For traders, the end of the petrodollar era signals significant shifts in the forex market. The dollar might experience increased volatility as its demand fluctuates. Currency pairs involving the dollar, such as Euro USD or USD Chinese Yuan, could see more significant price movements. Traders will need to closely monitor these pairs and adapt their strategies to manage potential risks. Key economic indicators like the consumer price index and non-farm payrolls will be crucial to watch. A weaker dollar could lead to higher import prices, contributing to inflationary pressures and potentially resulting in higher CPI figures. Higher inflation might prompt the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates which could impact job creation and overall economic growth reflected in the NFP data. Additionally, traders should keep an eye on geopolitical developments and policy changes. The U.S. might respond to these shifts with new economic strategies or adjustments in foreign policy to counteract the potential negative impacts on the dollar. Staying informed and adapting to these changes will be essential for navigating the evolving Forex landscape. Adding another layer to this narrative, Saudi Arabia has joined the BRICS alliance. Effective January 1, 2024, this group consisting of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa represents some of the world's largest emerging economies. Saudi Arabia's membership strengthens its geopolitical influence and aligns its economic strategies with these powerful nations. The BRICS alliance aims to promote economic cooperation and create a more balanced global economic order. By joining BRICS, Saudi Arabia can leverage its position to secure better trade terms and enhance its economic resilience. This move also supports its efforts to diversify its economy and reduce its reliance on the U.S. dollar, further challenging the existing financial order. Saudi Arabia's inclusion in BRICS could accelerate the shift towards a multipolar world economy. The alliance's collective economic power can drive significant changes in global trade patterns, currency use, and financial stability. This development underscores the importance of understanding and adapting to the evolving global economic landscape. In summary, Saudi Arabia's decision to move away from the petrodollar system and join the BRICS alliance marks a pivotal moment in global economic history. These moves could usher in a new era of multi-currency oil trade, impacting the strength of the U.S. dollar and global financial stability. What do you think about these developments? How will they impact the global economy? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analyses. Until next time, stay informed and stay ahead.